So hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you the most popular plugins that are used for edits in Premiere Pro. I'm also going to be showing you the effects that can be used within the plugin so yeah let's start. So the first plugin is called Sapphire and I'm pretty sure that most of you know this one already. It includes one of the most popular effects used uh, in editing so which is called S Shake. It's something like this as you can see it's just a like like a bounce. Of course you can change the settings and get lots of different types of shakes but yeah that's the first one. A lot of editors tend to use this effect including me so yeah moving on to the next one the next one is called wave warps and i know it looks a bit weird but once you actually change the settings it looks kind of normal so if i change the amplitude to like i don't know two and then change the frequency as you can see it becomes really thin people tend to use this for one frame glitches or just distortion in general you can achieve lots of different things with it like this which really doesn't really make sense but it can be useful if you're making a glitch edit or something like that moving on to the next one which is is called edge detect and i'm not entirely sure how to explain what it does but it kind of well detects the edges it does say that in the name so i'm not entirely sure what else to say it basically detects any edges or like outlines and then just inverts everything else the next one is called film damage and you will see this everywhere a lot of editors will use this effect uh for like an old grainy like style and the final one is called scan lines you can use this effect if you want to go for like a ctr look or like a television look or you can also use it as a one frame glitch it's completely up to you. Moving on to the next plugin which is called BCC. I think there is a full name for it but I can't remember what it is. The first effect you can use is called BCC Lens Blur OBS and with some keyframing what you can do is create this blur transition. I've already made a video on how to use it in Premiere Pro so check it out if you want to. The next one is called Displacement Map and it's a bit weird. I don't really use this effect unless it's for like a one frame glitch. The next one is called BCC Damage TV and there's also another one called BCC Damage TV Dissolve which is the one right here. I think Dissolve is a bit better than the original and so it looks like this. It's this really cool looking like TV glitch effect and I know I keep saying this but once again this is perfect for another one frame glitch and the next one is called BCC Video Glitch and as said in the title it's a glitch effect there's nothing else to say but yeah it does give some really cool looking glitch effects with like this RGB split as well. Anyways moving on to the next plugin which is called Twixter. I'm sure you know what it is it's basically like a slow motion effect. You can use Twixter and also Time Remap to like slow down clips but if you make edits like me then you know that it's more complicated than just simply slowing down clips and speeding them up. Twixter is the effect that everyone uses for those really smooth edits and to also like match clips with the audio if that makes any sense you know when they match those like scenes to uh, like sync with the audio. Anyways moving on to Amino Diffusion now this effect is not available for Premiere Pro it's not actually compatible but it actually does work just not as well as it would with After Effects but it still works and you can can use it. If you want to know how to use it, check out my video, link will be in the description below. Anyways, Amino Diffusion is basically this weird glitchy effect and as I did say, it doesn't really work well with Premiere Pro so you can't actually use like keyframing with it. You're going to constantly get this error message but just ignore it, it's still working so that's fine. Even though it may seem like it doesn't work, it still works really well and it looks really cool as well. The next one is called Universe and within this plugin there are effects such as VHS, extremely common for edits, especially those that are like retro styled. Here's another one, you uni.glow just a simple glow effect uni.glitch another glitch effect as well and uni.retrograde which is like an old vintage effect probably one of the best effects in the universe plugin so yeah moving on to the final plugin which is called magic bullet and i've gone for a specific effect within magic bullet which is called looks and with this you can customize your cc which is like the coloring you can make it look completely different make it look really old or really modern coloring does matter a lot in editing and in edits in general so this plugin will help you a lot and so here's a comparison so this is how it looked before and after it looks like this it really does give off a completely new different feeling so yeah i do highly recommend using it anyways that is it for this video and do keep in mind that i did not go through every single effect in each of those plugins there are way more effects to go through and it will take me hours to showcase and so those were just effects that people tend to use the most so yeah anyways thank you for watching have a great day and i will see you in the next video so yeah peace Thank you.